Hello, everybody. My name is Riddell Wilson. I'm from Perfect Video Conferencing. Uh, your tech coach asked us to do a couple of videos here just to kind of show you the experience of how it is when you get invited to a life-size meeting. And this particular one, we're going to show you how the desktop app works. And so I'm going to hand it off to Randy, and he's going to do a quick uh, tutorial. Randy? Right. Yeah, thanks, Riddell. And as Riddell says, we're here to help. And if um, we don't give you enough in this recording, you're welcome to also hit us up at support at perfectvc.com. And your internal tech coach is a great resource to which to start. Uh, in a previous couple of sessions, we talked about uh, the invites that you send out and then the browser options to join. Really feature rich. However, when you do join from the browser, you'll see there's always a call with the life size desktop app. There's also a mobile app. There's an iPad app. The user interface is roughly the same in all um, units, including the things on screen and room. But by design, the, the desktop app, because it uses a little bit more horsepower, can give you a, um, a better bandwidth and a better quality image experience. So uh, when you're joining via browser, you'll see this option to download the app. You may need admin privileges to install it. So if you can't be successful in installing this app, skip it and just use the browser as we've shown in those other trainings. But with the desktop app, the nice thing about it is that it renders all of the functions you need on, on one screen. Uh, the logic of this video conferencing platform is that it's all based on an extension. So you would call and then it would ask you within your organization, who do you want to call? So this is our organization, our meetings. Within your login with the desktop app, you would have your own SF Bay Area group um, extensions in there. Mostly what you're doing is joining virtual meeting rooms. So you have meetings in your infrastructure based on the functions in your organization. And you, for example, have a Walnut Creek meeting. Walnut Creek dials into that meeting, and then anyone who's trying to join that multi-party meeting joins that virtual meeting room. And so you'll see those on that list. So from the app, it's quite nice. You can just click to call. I'm going to call into the same one that we've been uh, doing for the purposes of these demos. You can see how easy that is. It's this unit here. Um, I click to call it. I have options to do with camera, just voice, or schedule a meeting. But if I call into that unit, um, Oh, that's the wrong unit. I meant to do the 600. There we go. I call in, it rings, it auto answers. I now have the desktop app that gives me all of the functions that I may want. So I can uh, turn off my camera, I can turn on my microphone, uh, I can share content. And then uh, if enabled, you have the ability to record. You'll notice on screen that the, uh, the quality of the image improves a bit when you use the desktop and it does a lot better job with, uh, with band bandwidth management. You can also, uh, if you're a moderator using the desktop app, you can use your login at the desktop to mute and unmute participants, a function you get at the desktop app, not a function you get in the browser. Your guests obviously don't need to be the moderator, so they wouldn't need the downloaded app. This is just for folks who want some of those superpowers. That's the basics of the desktop app. Again, much like the mobile device, the iPad app, or the browser, all of them uh, completely interoperable and allows you and 49 guests to join any of these great meetings that you're, that you're setting up. So in the event you have any questions, uh, reach out to your tech coach, order Riddell or me, and we'll be glad to help you. Again, support at perfectvc.com. Riddell, did I miss anything, sir? Nope, looks like we got everything covered. Great, thanks for your time.